This is an instructional video for the pocket mask that we have been asked to make um, so that folks can insert whatever type of filter that they have. You're gonna start off with two pieces of fabric. We're using 100% cotton and you have six by nine, two squares, six by nine, okay? So what you're gonna do is turn them over so that you see the non-pretty side or quote unquote wrong side maybe it's referred to. And you're gonna fold the edge about a quarter to a half an inch and you're gonna you're gonna pin that edge and when I do closest to the bottom you really probably need about two pence that's about it and you're gonna pin that okay so once you have those pinned that's what they look like take that one back all right so you have it pinned and then this is where you can insert your nose piece. You can either use a pipe cleaner, fold it in half, cut it about six inches. They're about 12 inches. Make sure you take a pair of needle nose pliers or whatnot and fold that tip in so that it's not sticking out that fabric and poking folks in the face, okay? Or you can use thermostat wire. Take out the outer casing of a thermostat wire and you're gonna get a, a whole, not as many of these, but a whole bunch of these, six inches, okay? Six inches. So now, before I sew this top, take it, and I'm gonna slide it in here. So it's about the middle. So it's sitting in there. All right, I've got my machine set on a straight stitch setting. Very simple, standard setting for any most home machines. All right, so then we put it in here. You're gonna wanna Stitch closer to the bottom so that you can get that wire in while you're taking your pins out as you go. There's really no need to iron. I find it helpful to put the wire in while I'm doing that. So that wire, as you see, is inside there. Same thing for the other square that I have folded the top. All right, now we have two done. Get some of that extra thread out of the way. Boom, done. All right, so now I have my two sheets. Let's fold them pretty side in to each other. All right, and that's gonna be creating our, our pocket up here at the top. All right, your paracord or 550 cord, because uh, if you're like anybody around us, we are all out of elastic. If you have elastic, use the elastic. About 15 inches seems to work. Um, the 550 cord, do 16 inches. It fits everybody. I've tried anywhere from 12 to 15. Fit, or 16 inches will fit about anybody. What you're gonna to wanna to do, the inside, pull it out, put it somewhere else, throw it away, all right? So I've got four 16 inch long 550 paracord. All right, I'm just gonna do a regular, moving that, that, that wire out of, out of my way. Okay, so we're gonna start on this side edge and what you want to do is what I found, kind of roll it up just a wee bit here and stick it in there. So we want it on the inside. And you're going to be placing the cord at the corner here, okay? All right. I'm stopping about half an inch to an inch from the corner. Don't know why I grabbed that. So that I can insert another paracord. Again, stick it on the inside there out of your way, inserting it to the corner like that. So then you turn your corner, grab your pedal. All right, open it in. Again, inserting at the corner. You can let it stick out a little, it doesn't matter. It's gonna get turned inside out. 
Before I do that, I'm going to turn this around and do it again to reinforce. Well, you don't have to actually on this stuff. Okay. Anyway. All right. So that's what we did. We did all four corners, but the top. Inside out, people. Inside out. So, grab the cords, kind of help you get those corners. And you are halfway there. Okay, and again, we got that wire at the top for the nose piece. Straighten it out a little bit there. All right, next step is to, what's called pleating is what I'm told. Folding, basically, we're gonna, we're gonna fold. Okay, I take the bottom and I pinch it. Sometimes it's not right at the first time. Usually, I think I find my first fold to look like about an inch. Maybe a little bit higher. Okay. Um, I like to fold both sides. It finds it easier for me, but you're going to pin one side at a time. So I pinned it just a little bit. Give me room to run up the side here. Make another little pinch. pleats that I am putting in here. All right, and then I find it helps to kind of match those here so that I can pin again. are really going to help it hug the face too. Alright, here we go. We got three pleats, top or bottom. Really, this is going to be the top. Okay, so they're going to put their filter, whatever they have on hand, to act as a filter. Alright, start at one corner. It's really good to again I start, I'm gonna start up here and kind of turn that corner so I can reinforce that string at the top. Get that wire out of the way. Just really about a quarter of an inch from the corner. Turn. This step, really easy, like as you're going to pull the cord a little bit, help you navigate it underneath your foot, your, your sewing machine foot is what it's called. Okay, turn the corner. Turn the corner. Turn that corner just one more time, just for a little bit to get that corner. And go up to where the is. And we're going to do that. And I'm actually going to go back around one more time to reinforce the fabric without these in the way. Okay, so one more time. It reinforces that edging so you don't get too much fraying coming apart. See? Turn that corner. And you can really just go all the way up to the top. Alright. 
That is a completed with a nose piece inside it. So they can insert anything they have, okay? And this works so that they can tie any way they want. They can tie it together. They can tie both sides individually and insert that filter there at the top and have the nose piece, so if we do it, so they can clip that nose piece there. All right, and there's a pocket mask.